finally came. Look at this. We have our MacBook Pro 14 inch in the house. I tore off all the labels, you can see I got it shipped by UPS, but there will be a time in this where I am going to need to cross out some stuff on the screen because I don't really want you guys to see my serial number. Just give me a sec. So when you get a new Mac, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously open it up. So with these UPS boxes, all you have to do is pull on this pull tab and it's kind of hard to open. And then you can... Wait, what? That's the color for the M1 Max. What? Turn around, it says... Doesn't have specs on the back. MacBook Pro S... This better be the new one, because I'm pretty... I've bought an M2 MacBook Pro. But what you're gonna basically want to do is obviously yeah. remove, remove this box. Now that it's down, you flip it over, and they actually replaced the plastic wrap around the whole thing with just this. This is little pull tabs, and they said they did this to help the environment. Now, how much of, do we think it's helped the environment or to help their costs? But either way, they're still satisfying your move. The other ones were a little more. Nice satisfying thing, and nice satisfying thing. Now you can flip it over. And Apple boxes, if you didn't know, they actually went through a million prototypes. Not a million, but exaggeration. They went through a ton of prototypes to try and get it so that it comes off quickly enough that it builds suspense, but not so quickly that it doesn't do anything. And there it is. That looks so good. This stuff, I don't think anyone's ever mentioned this, but it feels cold because it was just outside. But it's really, like the Apple logo is pretty big. And this is the computer. I'm going to put this one pop up over here. And then let's look at the other things we get in the box. First thing I'm going to mention is this is our Apple stuff. Let's see if we get any Apple stickers. We have our start guide. This basically has... This is a 14-inch. Why does it have 16-inch? I don't know. But basically it has touch on the power button, the force touch track guide, and all the ports. The menu bar, the FaceTime, and the control center, and a lot of other really cool stuff that this computer adds. And you have warranty information. And you get some nice black Apple stickers. Apple stickers? I'm a nerd, so I'll put up right a now. photo of my collection of Apple And yeah. So even though this is the one terabyte and it does come automatically with the smaller charger, I did buy the 96 watt charger because I just feel like it being more fast to charge would be a convenience. So I have heard this is hard to keep this intact, but I really want to try and keep this packaging intact. So when I do sell it in six years or so, I can sell it as genuine. And boom, we got that off, that is intact. This is our MagSafe charger. It's got a USB-C end on here, and it's got our, since I'm in the US, it's got the US prongs. Next, we have this, this is our cable. So this is a really nice braided cable, and actually last year, they didn't even include a space gray version. But this is, is a space gray one, so I'm gonna see if I can get this out without damaging this either. And that is our cable. Um, it's kind of hard to get out, but this thing is still intact too. And this cable will just plug right in here. And it's a nice little cable that's, I think it's three meters, but it is definitely pretty good. Now I'm going to take this box and we can look at the computer. So this is the computer. I will take it out of the wrap, but I do have my 15 inch 2013 with me. And as you can see, it's a little bit bigger. Let me put that on top. Again, I will take it out of the wrap. I did buy space gray because I prefer darker colors, but as you can see, it's a little bit smaller. And I think this is like the perfect size because the 16 inch would be a pain for lugging around and the 13 inch would be too small for video editing, which I obviously have to do to make these videos. So we can pull this out and take off the flap. Ooh, it's got a nice embossed MacBook Pro on the bottom. They added this this year. I think it looks amazing. Okay, so this is our computer. Um, what you're going to want to do is make sure there's no dents or anything to make sure you're not getting used MacBook. 99% of the time, it is going to be a new computer, but it always pays to check. 
Um, I already started getting fingerprints on it, and the Apple logo should be nice and shiny. See, it's reflecting in the glare of my phone camera. So let's go ahead and set it up. I cannot get my tripod to go straight up and down, so this is what we're gonna have to do. But for now, what we're going to do is you're gonna wanna open the lid, obviously, and pull off this protective cover. And when you do that, it's gonna make that really nice noise and it's gonna start moving up. Now this usually won't take that long. I'm sure this is probably on Ventura or close to it. And yep, that's our Ventura startup screen. So you're gonna wanna go down and click on it and select your language. I'm in the US, so I'm gonna click English because there is no English US since Apple is based in the US. Next, we're gonna let this load and it's just gonna try and make sure everything is in English. Next thing it's asking me for my country, it will usually, yep, it just did it. It will figure out where you are based on your location and then it can register it and basically give you it automatically so you don't have to go searching through it. I'm gonna zoom you guys in in a little bit. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoIP. I don't need that. And then I did not even know that did it. I don't know if anyone knows that because no one probably spends so much time on it. Basically, next you're gonna put in accessibility. I have I am fine with all these, so I'm gonna click not now. And then it's gonna ask you to join the Wi-Fi network. And once you put in the password, it should go on to the next page. And yup, it's trying to connect right now. Give it a sec. Thing longer than I thought. I'm really nervous about this stuff, guys. I really do enjoy this type of stuff. And I hope you guys do too. It does look really good. I think the black key whale just makes the, these computers look so, so good. And I'm gonna click update later because apparently this was not already on Mac OS Ventura 13.2. So I'm going to click update later so I can keep going with this. And then this is basically just showing you what the data and privacy icon looks like. Data and privacy is one of Apple's main things that they talk about a lot. So what you're going to want to do is this is just showing it to you. So you can just click next. And now it's asking you for migration assistant. Now this might be kind of a stupid move, but I'm not going to migrate mine to my old computer. I don't think I really want to because I'm going to set it up and make sure there's nothing crummy on that computer that's slowing down or anything. So I'm just gonna click not now. And now it's gonna ask me to sign up with my Apple ID. I love this keyboard, by the way. And now it just sent something to my watch and my phone, which is recording right now. So I'm going to allow it, and it should give me my code. This is just so if someone steals your Apple ID, then they can't get in your computer. And it's loading, give it a sec. I didn't realize it only worked with iOS 10 and Mac OS, uh, High Sierra and newer. Probably because they're the only ones who are able to check in the background. Or maybe I'm just stupid. Now we're going to let that sign in and I'm going to see if it does anything like set something up off my old computer or does anything like that. So we're going to give it a sec. Also, one thing I noticed, the notch looks bigger for some reason. I don't know if it looks small on your end. Still so stilted. I really hope I can fix that in the edit. But the notch just looks kind of big. Yep, it automatically filled in my name. That's convenient. And then I'm going to set the password. I'm setting it a long one just because I can just use thumb recognition to get in later. And I'm going to set this to email password because I, it is basically the same one as my email. I do recommend allowing your Apple ID to reset this password just in case you accidentally forget the password. Because that would be not good if you're signed out of your $2,000 computer. 
Now, I didn't go over specs earlier, but this has a 12, gig, 12 CPU cores, 16 GPU cores, 16 core neural engine, 16 gigs of RAM, a lot of 16s, uh, one terabyte SSD, and a 96 watt charger. Now it's setting up my iCloud account. That derailed quickly. But basically what this is doing is it's signing in and logging it from a database, which is probably obvious. Now one thing is that is not right. I'm filming this after school right now. So if you look on my watch, if I can get that in frame or in focus, it's currently 322. So I wonder if that'll fix itself or if I'll have to do it manually. I assume it'll probably fix itself, but who knows? So I'm gonna wait for this to load. As you can probably tell, this is a pretty painless process. It doesn't take a ton and it guides you through what you're supposed to do. Now, it will probably preset some things, so we will go through that. So when I'm done setting it up, I will show you guys some ways to make it easier for you and help you guys do some things on the computer. I am gonna enable location services on here. You could do whatever you want, but this will basically, that'll probably set the time. And it shows us out of focus. This is the stupidest way I could film this. But I'm going to enable it so that I can have it work and it can figure out where I am and tailor stuff like weather towards me. And I actually am actually going to share this because Apple, these are obviously, it's not like telling you, oh, blah, 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 use this and it crashed. And blah, 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 using this, it probably just says, hey, the user 1234 tried your app something and it crashed on a newer newish MacBook Pro. You should figure what that, what that means. So I'm gonna actually do that because I like helping developers. And now it's gonna I'm actually gonna set up this up later because I don't feel like going through stuff with this. And it's probably already set up because I'm a kid and it's it set all the stuff up. Uh, now I'm gonna enable Siri because sometimes I find her useful. But I am going to mute Siri, so you don't want to hear it. And now that this is set up, now it'll recognize my voice. And why does this keep going out of focus? This is annoying. I'll try and figure out, and if it's blurry, then I messed up. That is the right time, I'm pretty sure. That is the right time. Although this says 35, 325, so I don't know. But I actually don't really want to do this because I think that's honestly kind of intrusive because it is hearing what my voice is like. Now you can probably log on to YouTube and find my voice, but this is connecting things to my voice. So I don't actually want to share it, even though it probably or obviously doesn't have anything to do with compromising a lot of your data. And now I actually am going to turn this on because it's not like I could take out my disc anyway. These are soldered, which I don't love about new MacBooks, but I am going to turn it on just because there's no reason to, to leave it off. All this does is make it harder for a thief to get on my computer. So now I really do recommend doing this, but this is just going to make it so you just tap your computer and it turns on. So I'm actually going to register my thumb so I can do it if I'm holding like this, but for now I'm just going to do my pointer finger. And that was a lot like setting it up on an iPhone SE or older iPhone. And now what I am going to do is turn on dark mode because I do prefer dark mode. And it actually changes the background to give it more of a nighttime feel. I do just prefer dark mode. I think it's better on your eyes. And I do just prefer dark colors. And now we're going to wait for this to load. Why is this all out of focus? If, this video, if I have to scrap this video because it's out of focus, I'm going to kill someone. But basically, this is the desktop. This is what it looks like on macOS. Ventura, so I'm going to hop into a screen recording and show you guys how to do a couple things because that should hopefully work better than this. In computer, I have checked this is the M2 Pro chip, even though it did have the M1 Pro image on the box, which I find a little sus. But this is MacBook Pro 14 inch 2023, Apple M2 Pro, 16 gigs of RAM, and I'll blur out the serial number and stuff. More info, yep, M2 Pro, serial number, coverage. <coughs> Oh, my parents have that enabled. Anyway, I don't even really care. Display, and this is what the macOS Ventura system settings app looks like. I honestly think it looks a little worse, but we'll go through that later. 
the first thing I really recommend doing is actually changing a few settings. So I don't know why I closed out of settings. But first thing I'm gonna do is I recommend changing your accent color. I like mine on blue because I it just adds kind of your own touch to it. And I just realized I'm gonna have to blur out my name and everything. I mean, who cares? I'm gonna make these icons smaller because I also prefer it to be smaller. You can do whatever you want. Allow wind paper, wallpaper tinting. Uh, no, I think it looks better darker. I don't automatically based on, yeah, that's probably good. And then click on the space bar to jump in the spot that's clicked, yeah. All right, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, what I'm going to do is, wait, wait a sec. It's already connected to my AirPods. So it's been about a day, and this thing is insane. The power that this thing has while being completely silent is actually crazy. While I was setting it up, it got, and it was downloading like 30 separate apps. And I was like, oh, the fans are probably just on, but I can't hear them because they're kind of quiet. Nope, they were on zero RPM, which is insane. Old computer could never. It doesn't get hot. It barely is even hot right now. And the battery life is also crazy. I've been trying to set up a Windows virtual machine on here. And I've been spending, I spent like two and a half hours working on it. Yep, currently it is only at 70%. That is insane. Three hours, 70%, and slightly intensive too. That is pretty cool that it can go three hours and only lose 70%. If that keeps going, that's 10 hours. That is an insane thing that pretty much no pc laptop or any intel machine any intel mac could even do now there are a couple things that are clunky like it has been weird going from 15 to 14 and stepping down in screen size but it has been easier to port for portability reasons and it's a lot lighter it is noticeably lighter than my old computer but one thing i don't love is that the screen is very thin it always kind of feels like it's going to break but obviously, it's not going to break anytime soon. One thing is everyone knows that Apple added the notch on last year's MacBooks. But when you go full screen with the mini LED display on these things, they black out so well. The, you can't even see that it's a display blacking out and you can't see anything around the notch. It's crazy. This computer is a really, really good buy. And honestly... I will have many more videos out on it, but I'm trying to make keep this one brief because I don't need to spend 20 hours editing tonight. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.